Three years ago, one of my clients had their best year ever financially, but it was brutal. I mean, they made some money, but the entire team paid for it in the way of burnout. This past year that we just ended was different and better by every standard you measure except for one. I'm gonna tell you what that was, why, and one little hack that the CEO did that he claims made all the difference. So this client actually just had their second best year on paper, but the CEO would tell you it was far and away their best year as a company by his standards. See, a few years ago when they hit that peak revenue goal, it was pure chaos. And worst of all, they didn't know how to repeat it, let alone make it sustainable. This year, the revenue fell just shy of the previous record, but the profit margins were up, the team worked better together, they had better systems, they had great clients, solid referral sources, and best of all, they know how to repeat it and they know how to scale it. So obviously a lot of work happened between those two points in time. All that investment in the team and the systems and honing in on the ideal client, all of those things are building up until now. But the CEO would tell you there was really one thing they did that made the critical difference in keeping the focus and helping the team achieve the big goal for the year and it actually started the previous December. They had set a very clear and concrete goal for the team. And for them, it was how many projects they wanted to take on throughout the course of the year. And then they brought it to life by planning a team reward. that They were gonna take the entire company along with their significant others down to Valle de Guadalupe in Mexico for just a weekend of wine, culinary, and architectural feasting. Now, this CEO is already pretty good at tracking their KPIs and staying on top of the numbers and the metrics that really matter. But it was an aha moment when a couple months into the year, I asked him, how's the team coming along on the number of projects goal? And he had to stop and look it up. So I said, if you don't know that off the top of your head, what are the odds your team knows it or is even thinking about that at this point in time? And they were really excited about the goal and they're really excited about the reward, but is it changing their behavior? Is it driving how they think? And are they working harder or differently now because of this goal you know, that might be achieved at the end of the year? And the answer was no. They were doing a good job, they were doing their work, but it was, that, it was lacking that other level of focus and intentionality. So what he did was they made a visual to go in the office. They made this board where they were gonna, every project they had, they were gonna put this fabulous bottle of wine. And when the board was full, that meant they earned their trip and they were gonna divvy up the wine amongst the team. So it was a great visual that they all looked at every single day. And he said, I know without a doubt, we would not have hit that goal of the number of the projects if we hadn't had that visual. If we hadn't all been looking at it, thinking about it every single day, seeing those empty spots, how far we had to go, how many more we had to sign and secure and get underway um, in order to achieve the team reward. So they hit it with two days left to spare before the deadline. And they ceremonially took the last bottle and put it in its spot and they all celebrated. And then a couple weeks later, they took their amazing, unforgettable trip. So if you're looking to bring a level of focus and intentionality to your team and find a way to make this your best year ever with regards to control and teamwork and systems and profit margins and just that level of focus and clarity, let's put it this way. If you want everybody on the same page, you've got to have a page for them to get on. So get really, really clear on the goal and find some visible way to track it and measure and gamify it. Make it fun for your team. I hope that helps you to plan this year's goal and to bring it to life with the team so that you can all work together and win together this year. Thanks for watching.